Hey guys, so I rebuilt this dump load, but I've changed the resistance in it. I've decided to go with six ohms. So it's just one start here, goes up to there. All the way back down here, connected together to this one. And there's it's just a three phase, so that's an end, that's an end, and that's an end. And these are the starts one, two, three. So that'll be that part that'll be on the bottom. No, there's nothing, no wires coming out the top anymore. It's a different one and I just I have this high speed fan here I just cut the hole silicone it in just waiting for that to dry right now and here's an air conditioner thermostat I'll be mounting that on the inside of it this time now that I know it works the only thing that will be sticking out is this here's the temperature sensor Pretty simple. Put it all back together and hook up my three wires right there. That's it. Not too bad. I still have these ones here if I need them for something else. I'll be getting another couple thousand watts of solar panels, so those will come in handy. I've got a bunch of these. These are good. I just wish they make them in 48 volts. I have them here. 12 or 24. I'd have a 48 volt battery bank if they made, if this guy would make these. I just like this type. You can, there's way more adjustments on them with these two rheostats here. You can equalize and stuff with them. So I'll probably just end up making another 24 volt battery bank. Completely separate system. Control two parts of the house like that instead. I'm just trying to do it all with one battery bank. Probably better that way anyways if something does happen to the one just to go to spare. Got everything I need. I got a whole bunch extra. These are 24 volt water heater elements. I don't use these right now. I still use an inverter with the 120 volt. Or the elements are actually 240 volt, but they're wired up with 120. They just don't heat up as fast, that's all. Pretty calm day today, not much wind at all. It actually just started a little bit. You can hear it outside. Uh, this should, shouldn't put as much of a break on the turbine. Was that 24 volts, three ohms, pulls 100 watts. Or no, it's 6 ohms, I mean, because when I tested it, I put DC in one, and then the, the other, and they're all hooked up. So, I had 3 ohms and 3 ohms. So, 6 ohms, it was pulling 100 watts. At 120 volts, that's probably pulling more like 12 or 1300 watts, maybe even more. I'm not exactly sure. I don't remember. I remember testing it, but it might even be like 1800 watts. This should be about half of that. That should work out pretty good because my turbine 
is only going to really be need to be slowed down when it's at 180 volts or higher. And I checked the frequency when it's at 120 volts, the way it is right now, it's 30 hertz, so that it's 20 magnets, so 30 times 10 is 300 RPMs, it does 120 volts at, and it doesn't go up much at all, like from, from 120 volts to, uh, 180, I think it goes up by 10 hertz. Yeah, I'll continue putting this together. Oh, there we go. There's the thermostat installed. All on the top. this so this that'll get plugged into my inverters 120 volts that's the back of it where the elements are just two different heaters those are the original three the long ones that are stretched out A little thinner wire this here but they all out to the same so each coil is six ohms now two three ohm ones connected together oh there it is now finished to the SSR right there. I don't know, I can tidy up all that wiring in there. Move all that, put it all the way, everything works. Time to put it to where it doesn't have to move anymore.